Oh, the Apollo program. It was another thing altogether. And when I think about it now, many years later, I think that my generation has failed the American people. We took this Apollo as an enormous challenge. We had so much energy. I joined the program, I was like 29 years old. And that was in the uh, early uh, 67, two years before the Apollo 11. And I stayed with the program for the total length of it until Apollo 17 ended in December 1972. And these were some of the, the best times of my life because I was in a group of people that were so incredibly dedicated. We had Apollo to us was king. Nothing came before it. We had a real feel of the fact that we are going to do this and we are going to do it to the best of our ability. You could hear a bunch of engineers uh, often say, the Ruskies ain't going to beat us. We're going to do that and we're going to do it to the best of our ability. Meaning that uh, there was this inner feeling of, uh, so there was camaraderie, there was a, a steadfast feeling that nothing is going to stay behind this. And the work was wonderful. We, we got up in the morning ready to go to work because you know, every day you solve some problems. And no matter how many days you stood until midnight or without ever sleeping, nobody cared about that. I remember uh, David Scott, the commander of the Apollo 15 mission, after a long briefing uh, time that we had in the Cape, it was midnight while we're still briefing. And he looked at me and he said, Farouk, the pay of that job is not so great, but at least the hours are long. So there was this <laughs> incredible feeling that we were, we were going to do it, and we, and we did it. And we did it beautifully. And we proved that American ingenuity can, can jump start anything and can do it and do it on time and do it very well. We got every minute from the Apollo missions to serve the science and knowledge and so on. And we worked very hard to do that, and it worked beautifully. Why? because it was managed this way. We were able to get everything from everyone to the hilt. When I became supervisor in 1967, the managerial philosophy of NASA was filtered to us down from uh, James Webb, who was the best administrator of NASA ever, or the best manager I have ever seen in my life. And that was like that. He would talk to the supervisors. I was one of them. And he would say that if you're able to get from everyone that works for you all that they think they are capable of doing, we will fail. But if you are able to get from every man that works for you more than what they think they are capable of doing, then we'll succeed and we'll make it to the moon. Meaning that you have to get every individual involved, make every individual feel that it is his work that is responsible for that mission. And it is his work that has to be top-notch so that everything else will be top-notch and we'll do it to the best of our ability. Now, my reason for saying that we have failed is that we considered Apollo the goal. It was the end game. It shouldn't have been this way. It should have been the modus operandi. It should have been the way we do anything from there on. It should have been the way we conduct all our affairs. Shortly after the Apollo program ended, we had the oil embargo in 1973. And at that time, President Carter would appear in the, in the Oval Office in the White House, wearing a sweater, asking the American people to put the, the temperature down to uh, 68, so we don't use that much oil, and talking about a malaise in the country. And that is not leadership. That's not the way to do it. If you have this problem of the lack of oil for energy, then you say, okay, I am going to, we are going to change that. You address the American people, say, we are going to change that. We are going to, because there is nobody else that can, that can fix this more than we are. We are going to figure ways to get energy from the sun or from the wind or whatever there are and move, motivate them, whip the, the people up, rather than telling them there is a malaise, whip them up into action and make them do, uh, achieve a goal. Like, energy, energy uh, production to, to whatever you need, just like the Apollo program. So it is the Apollo ended as an, ob as an object of, of, a, of a goal rather than a modus operandi. How do we 
tackle all problems just like the way we tackled sending a man to the moon.